Hi, I'm Ian Cartwright, and welcome to 60 Seconds of Sales. I'm constantly looking for ways to make sales pain-free and easy for those new to sales, and particularly introverts, because it can be quite scary. So I've come up with a bit of a painless framework, I think, which makes it easier for people to approach those sales meetings or initial discussions with clients. And I call it the quiet framework. Quiet? Why? Well, because it's a nice, quiet approach to talking to clients and finding out how you might be able to help them. The cue, of course, is starting with questions. If you're a problem solver, you will understand the typical pain points that your clients might have. Therefore, the questions you ask should be open questions related to the pain points you expect them to have. That way, you can start a sensible conversation, build a bit of rapport, and of course, from rapport, we get trust. So start with some questions which are sensible. The most important thing when you're asking questions is that you understand what your client is telling you. If you don't understand what they're telling you, how are you going to understand how you might be able to help them? And don't be scared to say to your client, look, I'm not quite sure that I get that. Can you explain it to me another way? Make sure you do understand what they're telling you. And once you're starting to understand it, we've moved through the Q and the U, we can go to the I, which is being inquisitive. So make sure that you're asking some secondary follow-up questions which allow you to dig a little bit deeper into the problem that they have and what that problem is preventing them from doing, which will ultimately be related to time and money. The I, after the I, comes E, and that's about being empathetic. It doesn't mean throwing yourself at their feet with a whole lot of wailing, woe is you, I want to help you. It's about being empathetic to the issues they're facing both in their business and possibly their personal life, especially if it's agribusiness and you're dealing with some farmers. So be genuine in the way that you're listening and responding to what they're telling you. And once you've done all of that, it's time to think. And there's the T. Think about how you might be able to help them, how that's going to be a win-win for them and for your business and what your problem-solving solution looks like. I've written a blog on this subject. You can find the link to it on my website. That link's below this video. But be quiet in your approach to the way that you work with clients. And of course, the underlying message here is that if you're being quiet, you need to be listening. And if we're listening to our clients, we can understand how we can be the best problem solver for them. I hope that's of interest. Take a look at that link, read the blog. And until next time, be a problem solver.